three weeks. And the election. It's nothing. And then we lose. And they investigate. We make time. We can't fight everything off one by one, Francis. But if we make this, we make it work for us. Create chaos. More than chaos. War. Fear. Fear. Brutal. Total. I'm done trying to win over people's hearts. Let's attack their hearts. We can work with fear. Yes, we can. And as they learned after 9-11, nothing works better in the home of the brave than some good old-fashioned fear. And who better to wheel out for one last scary performance than Chicken Little himself? Good evening, my fellow Americans. On September the 11th, enemies of freedom committed an act of war against our country. And I, as your president, must confront the storm before us. A world where freedom itself is under attack. That storm is terror. More dangerous and unpredictable than any hurricane. Our enemy is a radical network of terrorists a collection of loosely affiliated terrorist organizations known as Al-Qaeda. Evil itself. The terrorists practice a fringe form of Islamic extremism. Terror is blind to reason. Americans have known the casualties of war. They have been wars on foreign soil, but not at the center of a great city on a peaceful morning. It has endangered us abroad, it has endangered us at home. It is threatening people everywhere by sponsoring and sheltering and supplying terrorists. And tonight, the United States of America makes the following demands on the Taliban. Deliver to United States authorities all the leaders of Al Qaeda who hide in your land. Given the opportunity to renounce terror, Yusuf Al Ahmadi chose to encourage it. So, unfortunately, we must now move beyond reason. We must respond with force, because there is no scenario in which we will release him. These demands are not open to negotiation. The time for conversation is over, no matter the consequences. We are at war. It will be a war more total than anything we have waged thus far in the fight against extremism. Our war on terror begins with Al-Qaeda. ICO will be destroyed. But it does not end there. Soldiers will die. Civilians may die. There will be pain. There will be suffering. We will be confronted with the most horrific aspects of humanity. We will confront the inhuman. It will not end until every terrorist group of global reach has been found, stopped, and defeated. We will triumph. It is not a war we will lose. And if the worst happens to James Miller, we must remember, to mourn is not to fear, to grieve is not to admit defeat. God bless America and all of those who believe in freedom and democracy. We do this in the name of the Islamic Caliphate, in the name of Yusuf al Ahmadi, in the name of God. Bismillah. Rahman, Melissa, I love you. Caroline, I love you. Alhamdulillah. Jesus, God, look out. <laughs> That's right. We don't submit to terror. We make the terror.